When it comes to creating designs that sell, there are plenty of tools that can help you get there. And one program that's been an industry standard for many POD owners is Canva. It's also the one that I've used the least because like some of you, I'm more of an old school Photoshop guy. So what's the deal with Canva? And is it as useful at creating designs as its competitors? I'm Talos from Printify and that is exactly what I'm about to find out. You might've heard the saying that a tool is only as good as the person using it. But with certain design programs, some of these tools can get really complicated. Processes in Photoshop, for example, even though effective, can take a while to learn. And with Canva, the major appeal is that everyone says it's quick, but most importantly, it's easy to understand. Which is why I gave myself a design task to figure out if that's actually true. Remember this moment? Here I see a really good example of cross-niching. Mm. You've got the abs, you got some fitness in right. there. With breakfast foods, it's the most important meal of the day, maybe it's protein, and I think it could be a niche. Leah just discovered her next million dollar idea right now, yeah. Start your store, breakfast and fitness. Now, as soon as Leah mentioned breakfast and fitness as a niche, I knew there was something there. So I'm gonna use Canva to come up with a couple designs based on her idea and see if she's gonna wanna include them in her breakfast and fitness POD store or not. Let's get started. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am not a professional designer by any means, but I think that's what makes Canva so great to use is that as long as you have an eye for the elements, you can pretty much accomplish what you need to do. I take my iron supplements in the morning. This is the phrase that I wanna create on Canva. So I have my text element, but I also have to create a graphic element as well. Let's say a dumbbells and see what comes up. But you also see is that some of these things come with the pro version, not the free version. So if you're only using this as a one-off, you only have to pay a dollar to use these, but if you're gonna be using this again and again, just get the premium version. All right, cool. So I found a dumbbell design that I wanna use, and here it is. But I kinda like the idea of iron supplements for breakfast, so maybe I can get a cereal bowl. And uh, here's one that I found. So it's sort of these dumbbells sitting in this bowl. And uh, maybe I'm gonna use a shape as well. So I'm gonna go back to this elements tab and I'm gonna use this one on top to put my I take my section. I think that's where that's gonna go. The other thing that I'm noticing here is that if I wanted to edit this image, I can say, for example, flip it. I can animate it if I want to. I can change the position. I can even crop it, but that's literally all I can do. In Photoshop, I would be able to do a lot more, but here it's just pretty much a Fisher Price version of that. If you wanna use text and put text in very quickly, all you have to do is put in the T tool and you already have that text showing up. So my first text is, I take my, and I'm not satisfied with this font, so maybe I can find something on the side here. I'm just gonna scroll down, and I remember there was a text I was looking at earlier, and this is the one that I wanna use. So I take my, kind of like a fun, and I'm gonna give it a white front. Now I need room for iron supplements. I'm gonna see if I can try to make that with uh, a different kind of font. So let's use our text tool again. I found another font that I liked earlier that gave me a bit more of a college vibe. So if you go to effects, you see that there's a curve option here. Oh, perfect, that looks so much better. All right, let's make this a little bit bigger. I take my iron supplements, now what we need in the morning, so I'm gonna take my text tool again. So I have my basic design here, I take my iron supplements in the morning, but it's missing something. I need to sort of emphasize the morning part of it. Oh, I know, what if we take this bowl, because it's already orange, and kind of make it as like the bottom of a sun? Can we do that? In our line and shapes tool, I see that we can. All right, so we're working with stuff. So we have these, a bunch of these dotted line options here, and uh, I like the look of this one. Hey, now we have rays, all right. So, simple copy and paste. These line adjustments I find are really cool. These snap grids that sort of tell you the exact positioning are so, so useful. They cut your time in half. So after all that work, this is the design that I've left with. And as you can see, aside from putting all these lines into place, it kind of took me no time at all. I take my iron supplements in the morning. I would say overall, the thing that took me the most time here is just the searching. So I got my text element, my graphic element, and I'm already done. But that is not the only design that I'm gonna work on. Now for my next design, I'm gonna see if I can work even faster than I did with the last one. And my concept for this next one is the phrase brunch and burn. Now what's cool about Canva is that if you go to their text section, they actually have a bunch of pre-made, really cool looking text elements that you could use that you can just slap on. And because my phrase is brunch and burn, ah, Perfect, this is the one that I'm gonna use because it actually has that and. I can and I will, 
Let's see if we can transform that to brunch and burn. So I have both my elements here, but I kind of want them to sit on top of something. Oh, I don't know, a kettlebell. Let's try that. Now in Photoshop, there's a layer section where you will be able to actually put some elements on top of other elements. But here, all you have to do is click these, uh, these three dots at the top of whatever your image is, go to arrange, and then you can tell it where you wanna go. So I'm gonna go send it to the back. So I have my brunch, I got my burn. I'm gonna put that on a bit of an angle, make it smaller. What Canva actually also allows you to do is easily add gradients. So I'm gonna see if I can put this one here. And again, before I do anything, I'm gonna send it to the back and put this behind. Wow, <laughs> that looks perfect already. I think I've been working on this for five minutes and it's already pretty good. And what's cool about this gradient option is that in the top right hand corner, you can change the color. So say maybe I'd, I want it to be warmer, but I don't want to be too, I don't want the yellows. I can change that to say a red or an orange. So this is pretty much done, but what I kind of want to do is change the font so that it matches the gradient. So I'm going to select this first part and let's say because the top of the gradient is yellow, we'll turn this into a yellow. And the bottom is red, a little bit more pinkish, we'll turn that one. Oh my God, looks so much better already. So now we're done here, let's see if we can go on to the next design. Now for my last design, I'm going to try a pun because I know that Leah loves puns. And the pun that I'm going to work with is the phrase lift slow, break fast. Sounds pretty breakfast and fitness, doesn't it? Canva also gives you what's called these magic recommendations, which sort of give you the same type of graphics in the same style as you want, which comes in really handy for me. I actually found the ones that I wanted to use earlier, and so I'm gonna paste it in here. Perfect. And what I love about this design is that it already comes with some lines that I can use for my text. So I'm gonna put my text in right away. Type, use the type tool, and my text was lift slow. But this is still a bit too plain for my liking. So I'm gonna go back to the effects panel here and see what I can do with it. Now on Photoshop, adding shadows, lifts, drops, or even these different neon or glitch type effects will take a lot of time to do because you're building it bit by bit. But here they've already built it as a preset. So all I literally have to do is click it. So I'm gonna click glitch because I, I wanna try that out. And I wanna give it a bit of a curve because my lines are curved. So I'm gonna try that here too. And these sliders make it really easy to adjust. So there, I'm gonna adjust, there we go, perfect. That's exactly the curve that I want. And see what I can do with these glitches. Oh yeah, that's groovy, perfect. So I did that with my lift slow. I'm gonna do another text here with break fast. And I'm gonna look for a croissant. And I actually ended up finding one a lot earlier that I liked. So I'm gonna use that croissant image, paste it in. There we go, adjust it. Most of the time that you'll spend on Canva is just going through their massive library. It took me a long time to find this stuff, which is why I'm glad that I have them in place here. But once you do put everything in place, your image is technically done. I don't know if it's great, I'll leave that to, for Leah to decide, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm actually really happy with this. So. Let's take it to her and see what she says. Okay, folks, I'm finally here with Leah at the end of this design journey, and let me tell you, it has been a journey. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching you work away for a while now. How do you feel about using Canva? You know, uh, I've learned that this platform is actually very easy to use, and it's sort of like a no-frills software that gives you exactly what you need, no more, no less. But the best part is, is that because it's an online program, you kind of get constant updates to what they're able to offer you, and it's pretty easy to use, but mainly I also quickly realized that if you're gonna be using this a lot, it's way better to splurge for the premium version because that took me a while to find out some of the free stuff. But what matters is what you think and whether or not you would use this in your breakfast and fitness online store. So what do you say we get into it? Let's do it. All right, cool, let's go. I take my iron supplements in the morning. <laughs> okay, this is actually... The immediate reaction was like, ugh. No, it's it's clever. Uh -huh. I like it. I actually like the design. The the weights maybe are a little like simplistic oh. and doesn't match the rest of the fonts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow. I was trying to go for like a bowl of like iron and I didn't know what to do. So I this and then it ended up being a sun. Listen, I never said I was any good at this, all right? But okay, let's see if we can get we can go up from here. My next design is this one. Brunch and burn. <laughs> yes. 1000% yes. All right, all right. This is actually fantastic. 
and I love this gradient feature in the back. And actually this one was the one that weirdly enough took me the fastest to design. So it just goes to show you that you can really come up with a kind of a great design if you know what you're after in Canva in just a few minutes. The last one here is lift slow, break fast. <laughs> You got a little croissant there. He's gonna use the weights to eat the croissant. Nah. How long did it take you to think of that? It actually took me a while. I know you love puns, and I thought, well, this is this is the best I could come up with. <laughs> I love I love the actual saying itself: "Lift slow, break fast." Yeah. The design, I like the concept okay. with the the little croissant and and the weights. Yeah. But I don't know if I would like wear that design. I think it needs some sort of little graphic element because mm. otherwise people might be like, well, what? does that exactly mean if they right. don't know your niche well enough or your store well enough? So what do you think after you've seen these designs? Is this uh, something that you want to invest in? Start your own breakfast and fitness store? After the brunch and burn one, yes. I, <laughs> that one inspired me. I love that one so much. Whether Canva is a way for you to begin experimenting with design or is your main creative driver, when it comes to generating ideas for your store, it's a great way to work fast and quickly to come up with content that works for your brand. What Canva tools do you use most often? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if it helped you, and don't forget to subscribe for more design tutorials with Prettify.